this is great because if you start typing tourbillon watches in on any search engine, the suggested type will just take off. Tourbillon watches are a huge subject among enthusiasts. And it seems like you can get one from almost anybody today, right down to Memorigen and their sub $1,000 Chinese made tourbillon and then even less in some cases. Um, so Mike, tourbillon watches, more accurate, true or false? If you leave them in one position, then they're going to be more accurate. But the watch is never in one position. So the tourbillon is always rotating. Mm -hmm. So it's always, it's covering the, uh, the 360 degrees every minute, unless the 30 seconds, you know, depending on what, what the tourbillon is. No, they're not more accurate. Uh, actually, in, in uh, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago, the JLC non turbion actually won you know, yeah. the, the timing. But we've actually seen that since 2009, there is a modern chronometry trial. It's not quite the observatory shootouts involving hundreds of brands that we knew in the 19th and 20th centuries. But since 2009, the Horology Museum of La Loque, Switzerland, has overseen the Concorde de Chronometry. And although JLC did win with a tourbillon the first year, for instance, their master tourbillon, their simple, almost industrially built tourbillon, beat the multi-axial gyro tourbillon. And in every edition since that first 2009 uh, running of the competition, they do it every two years, Tissot with an ETA 2824 has been right up in the top two or three watches. Yeah, it just it, it depends on how the watch is adjusted. We can make any watch run in chronometer specs. We can I, I pulled a delta of 0.5 today on a watch, and it's just a delta is a split between the fastest and slow, slowest rates and position. But again, the tourbillon it was designed when when Breguet made the tourbillon, it was to compensate <coughs> for for gravity. Imagine the pocket watch sitting in one position in the pocket. Yep. Constant orientation, the tourbillon mm -hmm. spins on its axis, and its axis is always in opposition to gravity. Now, on the wrist mic, the yeah, average... We're, we're all yeah. over the place. You know, so exactly. even if the watch is compensating for positions, it doesn't matter because we're compensating for positions as well. Yeah, the pocket watch and the tourbillon go together like a pig in excrement. <laughs> but the bottom line is that you can regulate a tourbillon in the modern era to do extraordinary things. That JLC Master Tourbillon, a relatively simple watch based on the Auto Tractor Automatic, a sub $50,000 steel watch, it averaged out to something like 47 seconds of deviation per year. So you can do extraordinary things. And in the years since Grubel Force has won the competition, I believe one year Louis Monet won with the Tourbillon, Tourbillon have continued to excel, but only very carefully regulated, low volume, specialized watches, or in the case of JLC, a computer designed, largely machine fabricated powerhouse from a company that had a regular, a specialist regulator, tinker with the thing before it went to market. Otherwise, Tissot with the 2A24 getting the same results. Yeah, it depends on how you're setting the watch up. Um, and again, right now, tourbillons, they're beautiful to watch, they're beautiful to look at. It's, it's a complication, it's very difficult to master, very difficult to build, so it is a complication. It's also a novelty. Yeah, I'll also say this, they're fantastic to look at, but if you want to look at modern innovations in tourbillon technology that matter, look at the multi-axial tourbillon and also look at watches that use differentials, that, not necessarily tourbillon, but something like the Roger Dubuis Couture yeah. with multiple escapements attached to each other by a differential all at angular opposition such that they're always canceling each other out. That's not a tourbillon, but that's a valid system for evening out gravity-induced variation. The multi-axial tourbillon from the likes of Thomas Pressure, Gerard Perigo, um, Jezer Lecoult, Cabistan, and also finally, take a look at what Grubel Forcy is doing because they are using differential geared tourbillon, but also that 30 degree tourbillon angle, yeah. that's the average angle of a watch on the wrist right, scientifically. Exactly. exactly. Um, so They are cool though. They are really cool. <laughs> I'm actually going to send my tourbillon to service this year with JLC, so not only will we get a sense of what that costs, and I will share that with you, but we'll also get a great sense of how it runs when it comes back. Yeah, we'll time before and after. Yeah, definitely. We'll I can tell that. you right now it's approaching its service interval. It's probably the least accurate watch I've got right now. <laughs> <laughs>